Hello everyone, my name is Cristian Negulescu and you know me for a lot of activities with UiPath. We have the um, uh, Salesforce connector, Salesforce connector, Jira connector. I have a lot of videos about uh, how to trigger UiPath from different softwares and I have some general videos about UiPath. A few weeks ago, I did an example about all the activities that we have on the Excel. Today, we'll talk about all the activities that we have on the Word. Yeah, so all the activities that allow us UiPath to work with Word. So first, to be able to work with Word, you have to go to Manage Package, you have to go to uh, All Packages, and you have to write Word. You have to install this uh, Word activity. Yeah? So you have UiPath Word activities, you install this Word activities, and after you install this Word activities, you will have here on the activities, if we write Word, you will see that you'll have two groups. You will have one group on the integration and you have under file one group on the Word document, yeah? So what is the difference? The difference is that uh, for this one, you can work um, with a scope with Word and you need to have Word installed on your PC. With this one, exactly like on Excel, you don't need, your, uh, you don't need to have Word on that, uh, on that PC. So you just have the file and you are able to, to work with the file without opening the file and without having the software. Good, we'll start with this one because it's simple and then we'll go to all the steps from here, from, um, from the uh, Word application scope. Good, so in this one, on Word document, we have uh, three activities. We have read, replace text in the document and append text. These are the activities. So on the read, I just indicate the file and then I will get a string as a result. I will print the string. I will, um, um, then I will append the, um, the string and put another line. And then I will replace um, a text line to with the new text. Let's see how my Word document uh, look like. So to, uh, today we'll use this document to have three lines on the document, a simple one to understand the, the principles. And like I said, in this case, you need to close the document on the other activity with the scope. You will be able to work also with the document open. And let's see what we'll have here, yeah? So let's run it and let's see the result. So I run it and uh, uh, let's see the result. So first I should have the read, which was one, two, three, one, two, three, line one, two, three. Then I put another line, which is four, and then I replace the line two with the new text. Let's check my Word document and see what's happened. So here uh, I have the line four, which was added, and line two was uh, modified to new text. So that was the example of the simple activities. Let's come back. Uh, let's uh, redo the document like this and save it. Let's go back, save it, and uh, let's see. Uh, how we do this from the scope. So this was with the word activity. Yeah? With the scope activity, we'll do the same stuff, but on the word application scope, you provide here the link to the document, the, the, the location of the document. Then you have individual, individual um, um, activities like read text, extract the text, then uh, uh, append line and you have add new line before the text. Uh, you can, if you don't put this, you will put it on the continue of the line three. Then we have replace text in the document. We'll do the same stuff. We'll do line two will be um, uh, will be changed with new new text. Here you have replace all. What means replace all? If I have multiple times line two on the on the document, he will replace every uh, all the places where he will find um, line two. Yeah then I can save this document as a PDF, yeah? So I can take my Word, uh, my Word document and save it as a PDF. And if the, the system exists, this will replace, yeah? And I can save as an other stuff. So you can have here multiple type of documents. I will use to save us, I will use uh, rich text, yeah, RTF. So I will use this as RTF, okay? So if I run, uh, let's uh, let me, let it like this, yeah? Uh, if I run uh, this uh, workflow that it's with the application scope, and if it's with application scope, I can work with this open. Yeah, let's see it. So I have my document open. I'll run the robot, and because it's with application scope, this will sh should see it dynamically. You see, so you see all the modification dynamically, and um, what's happened? Yeah. So we did the text. The text was uh, line one, two, three. Then we append the line four, we replace the line two 
with new text. Then was the save document as a PDF. So we save the document as a PDF and we have the document as a PDF. Okay. And then we save the, uh, the document as an RTF and we have this done. Good. So very simple uh, way to work with this. And remember, you need to have Word and you can work also with, a, with this open. Let's go further and let's talk about pictures. So I'm able to add a picture inside of Word document. Word document, yeah. So I have this add picture activity. And this add picture activity will be able to uh, uh, to add the picture inside of my document. So I have the Word document and I have this picture and this picture will be this one, yeah. And the system will add the picture after the last uh, part of the last uh, item of the document. Let's see. I will click delete and I will run this one. Okay, and you see that the system add the picture to my document. If you open again the word, you see that I have the picture inside. Good. Uh, next, let's see what else we have. We have uh, uh, bookmarks and um, we'll talk about data table. Let's go back to the Word document and let's understand a little what this bookmark is, means, yeah? So let's put this text with a bookmark. Uh, it was on the bookmark here on the insert. We name it test and add. So I have the bookmark here, okay? And on your iPad Studio, I will give the name of the bookmark and I will say the bookmark text. The bookmark text will be bookmark for te test text, yeah? So if I hit run, the system will go, you see, he removed the line here. So basically it was him, him he replaced all the stuff with the, with the new text. So it's it's a little similar with the, uh, with the replace text, but you don't need to, uh, you don't need to, um, to search for the text. You can have like a tag, yeah? Like you have you have a tag inside the, um, of a system. In this way, you will be able to uh, remove, um, uh, to replace this bookmark, okay? Good, so you don't need to know exactly what text. Yeah. The last, um, uh, the last stuff that I want to show you on the word activities, it's about data table, yeah? So I'm able to insert a data table in a document. And uh, when I say insert a data table on the document, so I have here, I will build a data table. In my case, I will build a simple data table with name and ID, and I'll say John, Tim, Jeff, and so on. And I will say, I want to insert this data table on the document. So I select the, doc I select the document, and the position will be start. So if we start, this will come on the beginning of the document. It will be end or be end on the end of the document. Okay. Let's run it. And the system add my table uh, on the beginning of the document. I can put a bookmark. So he will make reference to that bookmark where he put the data table. Or I can put to a text. For example, if I will say uh, I want to uh, put this data table after line two, yeah. So let's see. I still have line two. No, I don't have line two. Uh, but uh, I will, I will, uh, I will make it again to line two. Save. Okay. So I will want to put this after line two. So I'll say search for line two, all position, and the, uh, the insert will be after, yeah? Or replace. Look, I can replace the position where, it, where is right line two. So I can replace the line two with, um, uh, with uh, the new data table. So let's run it. And the system will replace my uh, line two with the data table, okay? 
So that's the idea with the uh, with the uh, with the Word documents that um, uh, with uh, what we can do with Word. So this is the Word activity there around 10 activities for Word, and this will allow you to uh, work with uh, Word document. For other complex stuff, please um, uh, uh, comment on my video and uh, explain me what else you want to see on my channel about, uh, uh, about uh, the Word uh, um, documents, yeah? As usual, if you like my video, subscribe to my channel, uh, give a thumbs up and um, comment and tell me what else you want to see on my channel. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good one. Stay safe.